All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to day three of the Wild West Showdown. Next bout up is the Cherry City Derby Girls All-Stars against the Bellingham Roller Bettys. And the lineup for Cherry City, 187 is Katie May Kill You. 207 is Lil Bratney. 303 is La Cuca Rakia. 344 is Necessary Roughness. 350 is Slady Godiva. 360 is Sexbox 360. 404 is Calamity Dame. 50 is Fifty Shades of Cray. 556 is Mrs. Infidel. 60 is Six Foot Fetish. 75 is Mo Cox. 88 is Leica Virgin. 97 is Vavoom Vavette and J9 is Flossie. These are the Cherry City Derby Girl Eight Wheel Assassins. I'd like to run out the roster for Bellingham Roller Betty's Blunt Force Trauma. Zero, zero. Eyes a hella vicious. One, Breaker Baker. 13, Sugar Bomb. 14, Ziggy Star Crush. 19, Anna Nasty. 1902, Pyroclastic Flow. 193, Rampage. 240, Scarlet Joe Hurtsum. 365, Robin Rumble. 40, Wendy Bell Tolls. 542, Miata Smackya. 88, Lunatic, coached by Scott Slamilton and Avana Brick Bones. So coming into this yesterday, uh, Bellingham took a loss to Lava City, uh, 285 to 179, and they skate this bout, and then later today at 7 p.m., Bellingham takes on Rodeo City. So that'll be their third of the weekend as they didn't participate in bouts on Friday. Cherry City yesterday uh, went up against Boulder City, taking a loss to them, 396 to 94, Cherry City. And they also skated against Arc Valley High Rollers, uh, 253 to 169 Cherry, so looking for a win today. Cherry City would very much like to go home with a win on day three. Uh, we've got a big day today. There's a lot of bouts. It's on the schedule, so uh, a lot of juniors, and then we also have women's, and they'll be off and on all the way through 7.30 this evening, so you can definitely get your streaming live fix of derby all day long and some of you don't the ones listening at you know home or in the coffee shop didn't even have to leave home necessarily cozying up on the couch in here it's bleachers yep some chairs higher up we deliver warm derby straight to wherever your electronic device of choice is indeed so thank you for tuning in at home. Thank you for all the fans coming here early in the morning for another long day of Derby. Well worth it. So all the fans, all the teams that are participating. And a huge thank you to Slaughter County Roller Vixens for putting on the fifth annual Wild West Showdown here at the Kitsap Fairgrounds. It, it, it should not go without saying how much time and effort goes into putting on a tournament like this and to consistently do it five years in a row. We're greatly appreciative. I've had the honor of being here all five years in a row. The makeup changing a bit over time. So thank you, Slaughter County Roller Vixens. I can actually identify with some of the efforts to put a tournament on. I've heard that it can be quite challenging. Um, we have a couple of teams here today and not everyone's in the building. So for those of you listening or watching in on the streaming feed, we will be doing colors and score in addition to time just so you're on top of the action throughout the day. Cherry City is in gray tops, and uh, they are um, going to be out there against the Bellingham Roller Betties, and Bellingham is in black tops, and uh, we've got 30 minutes on the clock, so plenty of time for this one to get started. Indeed. I think, I think just Bill might be our jam timer out there today. I see Del from Hell, Hell Hanging Chad, Hunter S. Toss them out there in the center of the track as our skating officials. And we're going to start off this. Yeah. We're just doing some technical, technical things and making sure the whiteboard matches the actual skaters that are present on the track because that's important. Cherry City does have a very special 
18th birthday wish full of ponies and unicorns going out to Katie May Kill You from GQ. So, happy birthday, Katie May. You know, there have been a lot of birthdays going on this weekend. Yep, it's been happening. And there's the five-second warning. Bill now blowing that whistle. We're going to have Ziggy Star Crush donning the star number 14 for Bellingham. She's going out there against number 75. That's Mo Cox. Mo Cox had been a very physical jammer this weekend. She's newer to the Cherry City roster, and she's definitely made her presence felt throughout the weekend. Nice move by Six Foot Fetish. The pivot here for Cherry City. She goes in to try to do a sternum block. She doesn't shut down the jammer Ziggy Star Crush, number 14 for Bellingham. She does get through on that initial pass, but it was a, it was a lovely execution of, of that maneuver. One point awarded there to Cherry City on the initial jam, and uh, it's uh, some, some physical play out there. It has been all weekend. Unfortunately, we have had EMTs involved a couple times here at the Wild West Showdown this weekend, a couple of, a couple of major injuries, but for the most part, clean and everyone's healthy. Yeah, speaking of injuries, there was actually a junior team that was scheduled and slated to have about this morning, and they had to pull themselves out because they just couldn't roster enough skaters to uh, take that on. So uh, our heart goes out to those skaters that are injured, and they came a long way to skate, so. We, Cherry City actually with an injury Friday night, so one of our skaters didn't even get a chance to get out of warm-ups. So we've got 207, Lil Bratney on the track for Cherry City, wearing the star. On a nasty number 19, did get through on her initial pass. You're gonna have number 207, Lil Bratney, pull through, pull down the four points. That's gonna bring Cherry City to, that's seven? Oh, six, my bad. Breaker Baker, number one, Donnie Star, first time for a Bellingham Blunt Force Trauma. She's joined out there, second time at the line. Mo Cox, number 75 for Cherry City. And in the box, we've got three blockers sitting. So right now, it is pack advantage favoring Cherry City as Mo Cox goes to work in the middle of that pack. She has one to beat on the inside and she gets forced into a track cut. She'll go to the box, which puts Bellingham on the power jam. This is correct. Miata smack at 5-4-2, headed to the penalty box. She is going to be way back on the track as the penalty box was full. She's joining Isa Hella Vicious, number 00, on the track for Bellingham. They're working now in betwixt the milieu of Cherry City blockers working on some offense, trying to assist their jammer to get through that pack. Oh, huge hit. 50 Shades of Cray with that shot, but uh, Cherry City mixing up, skating backwards and forwards, some to anchor and some to just smash you right in the middle of the chest, which is what happened there. One to beat, that's Vavoom Vavet, last line of defense, number 97, and then cascading through, Katie may kill you, but number one, Breaker Baker making it through for a five-point pass for... Bellingham. Currently a one point difference here with Cherry City sitting at six. Bellingham at five, but remember on the power jam, here it goes in Lunatic trying to take out Sex Box. Lunatic then gets recycled to the back of the pack. Breaker Baker now trying to maneuver her away around 360. Sex Box. That's correct. Some excellent hitting going on. Cherry City playing this power jam very tenaciously. And back on the track is Mo Cox. She's already been through. And it looks like Breaker Baker right now against 50 Shades of Cray. Mo Cox slipping through on the inside. And that is a grand slam for Cherry City. Did pass the jammer naturally in action. We do have Blunt Force Trauma, Bellingham, Roller Betty's Breaker Baker moving her way back as the nice expanding of that bridge as 187. Katie may kill you. The birthday girl goes in for that span, and we are going to have another power jam as number 75, Mo Cox, heads back to the penalty box. So some excitement here to get things started. Uh, both teams definitely awake this morning. They're all caffeinated, and they're here trackside to get this done. We've got 10 points for Bellingham. They are in black tops. Great tops, Cherry City. They are at 16, and we're exchanging power jams right now. Tit for tat, I say, tit for tat. 
Number 193, Rampage going in as a jammer on behalf of Bellingham. She's going to struggle to get around the pivot there. She evades it on the right, but nice maneuvering there by Cherry City as they push out another blocker to try to stave off number 193, Rampage. Vavum Vavette in hot pursuit there. She has had a strong showing this weekend. Um, one of the original blockers for Cherry City. Miata smack it with a nice force out on Flossie. Flossie then incurs a penalty. She's headed to the penalty box for Cherry City. Another scoring run for Rampage, number 193. She does get the four points, no pass, no penalty, so didn't get that fifth point. And walled up is Calamity Dame with six foot fetish and Vavum Vavette trying to put the stops on, sneaking through there. Sugar Bomb, eyes a hell of vicious. Miata Smackia all holding that passive offense as Lunatic released from the penalty box. Sh Rampage now attempting to get through the wall of Cherry City in the front. She's on the hip of Calamity Dame and they're attempting to ride her out side to side. She moves left and right. Good agility on display right now for the Bellingham Jammer. Rampage. Oh, take out by Isa. Hella vicious. On the Jammer, number 75 for Cherry City, Mo Cox. And we had a lead change. So it's 16 for Cherry City in the gray, 22 for Bellingham in the black tops. We've got... CrazySkateCo.com. The Crazy Skate Company is dedicated to providing innovative and skating products and apparel with the very latest technology manufacturing. They're designers and manufacturers of roller, inline, and ice skating products. CrazySkateCo.com. 207 Lil Bratney is going to pull through first for that coveted spot as the lead jammer. And she's quickly followed by number 14, Ziggy Starcrush. So you see a jammer rotation now formulating for both teams. Zero, zero. We also want to remind everyone about DJ Rich Nice. Need a DJ? No. You don't need an amazing DJ who's guaranteed to bring high energy to your event. Find DJ Rich Nice on Facebook. Drop him a line. DJ Rich Nice, the official mix master of the Sauter County Roller Vixens. DJ Rich Nice. Because he's nice. Yeah, it's early. I had caffeine. Maybe not enough. All right, the birthday girl taking the star for Cherry City. 187 is Katie May Kill You. On a nasty number 19 now. On the line for Bellingham. Nice takedown by six foot fetish. Little hammer and nail there between 50 Shades of Cray and six foot fetish. Katie May Kill You is your lead jammer for Cherry City. Pack advantage favoring Bellingham, and she parts it like the curtain. That was clever. <laughs> clever. Fingers Duke. FingersDuke.com. They are located at, I believe, the mall in Silverdale, Washington. So if you are here, you can go over there and talk to them, or you can check them out, FingersDuke.com, and they're up to any challenge you may come up with. Basically anything you're after, album covers, skateboards, t-shirt graphics, poster, posters, flyers, logos, get in touch. All right, we get back to the action. We have a two-point bout. Plenty of activity in the pack right now. Getting out first is Bellingham for lead jammer. And that is 193 Rampage wearing the star. Mo Cox making her way through as well, pulling her way to the front. And that's Mrs. Infidel and now Calamity Dame with the big hit there on Rampage. Sugar Bomb, Lunatic. Well, now they're all going to head back to the bench. The jam has come to its fruition, being called off by Mo Cox. So once again, black shirts are Bellingham, gray shirts are Cherry City. We've got 24 Cherry City, 26 for Bellingham with 21 minutes in the first half. Oh, and my, that wasn't called off by Mocox. We are going to have a power jam and a power start for Breaker Baker, Bellingham Roller Betty's Blunt Force Trauma, assisted by Scarlett Joe Hurtsum. Eyes a hella vicious. Miata smack ya out on the track there for Bellingham. Fifty Shades of Cray. And six foot fetish out at the front. Necessary roughness joining her pack mates and getting through for five. Bellingham, that's number one. That's Breaker Baker. 
wearing the star. Breaker, Breaker, attempting to use that sort of slight, narrow frame of hers to slip through the three skaters for Cherry City in the front. She is successful and pulls down five points on behalf of Bellingham. Roller Betty's Six foot fetish anchoring that line and in the middle of the action, but getting through for another five. Breaker Baker picking up points there for Bellingham. Bellingham currently sitting at 21 points in front of Cherry City. Six foot finish the pivot for Cherry City now sitting in the penalty box. We are going to have five more points pulled down. That's a 20 point jam for Breaker Baker, Bellingham, Roller Betty's. Greenmonster.com. That's G R N M N S T R. Green Monster Roller Sport is a skate company whose total focus is to produce fresh ideas and innovative product design to the roller skating market, specifically roller derby. It's G R N M N S T R.com. It's because they take the E's out because you'll go like this E when you see their products. <laughs> I know I always do. 207 is Lil Bratney wearing the star for Cherry City. And she's out there against. The star for Bellingham. Ziggy Star Crush, number 14. And ladies and gentlemen, on the way to the box is the jammer, which means Cherry City's on the power jam. If you're a fan of the Eight Wheel Assassins, it's time to make some noise! Lunatic, Rampage, and their jammer, Ziggy Star Crush, sitting in the penalty box. Slight pack out here for Bellingham. However, Cherry City working into some penalty trouble of their own. A sugar bomb working with me Wendy Bell tolls for Billingham in the pack. Left on the track is Vavum Vavet for Cherry City. Vavum Vavet playing offense. She opened up a huge channel in the last pass to pick up five for Lil Bratney. She helps out again with the blocking there. Ten points so far. Make it 15 for Lil Bratney. Quickly making up that point difference. They got 20, Bellingham got 20 on that last power jam, and we're, we're looking for, Lil Bratney is looking for that in for 20 of her own, and we are going to have it pulling down 20 points. This is 40 to 46 in favor of Bellingham currently, but Cherry City continues to have the solitary jammer on the track. Also an itty-bitty pack here as we only have three blockers out there. Oh, Sugar Bomb out of play. She's headed to the penalty box. Wendy Belto's number 40. Now, oh, illegal procedure on Wendy Beltos for leaving the box early. And so she's headed back to the penalty box. Rampage Lunatic now working the outside lane as Lunatic goes in for a sweep on S-Box. Oh, and it does provide that opportunity for a Ziggy Star Crush to pull through. Oh, but, uh, oh, out two there with minute penalty on Ziggy Star Crush. All right, we've got Vavum Vavet out there with Sexbox 360, Calamity Dame, Six Foot Fetish. Lil Bratney back out of the box, and that's going to be the end of the jam. Once again, for those of you at home, Cherry City are wearing gray shirts. They're at 40. Bellingham is wearing black. They're at 46. We're down to 17.05 in the first half. We also want to tell you about FlattrackRevolution.com. FTR is run by Ringer and Slabia Majora out of Oakland, California and Portland, Oregon. R Ringer and Slabia are both skaters and total derby freaks and design geeks. Fueled by their two passions, they created FTR to revolutionize derby apparel. FlatTrackRevolution.com. An official time out now. Right at uh, the end of the previous jam, Ziggy Starcrush was sent to the penalty box and I saw the two-minute hand signal there. So that's the jammer for Bellingham Roller Betty's. conferring with the dazzle of zebras in the center of the track. And when I think of dazzling, I think of fast. Fastgirlskates.com. The first physical storefront specializing in roller derby equipment is owned and operated by Rat City Roller Girls, Le Petit Mort and Wiley Piotti. That's fastgirlskates.com. And again, a big thank you to Slaughter County Roller Vixens. If you haven't gone over and maybe given them a hug or a high five, all the volunteers here, I would really appreciate that to you do so. You can enter to win RollerCon and Junior RollerCon MVP admission drawing at 12 p.m. today. Inquire with 
the information booth with Slaughter County Roller Vixens. And All right, so it looks like we've had a little bit of a score update. We've got Bellingham Roller Betties right now sitting at 46 in black shirts, gray shirts, Cherry City at 48. It has been brisk. Back and forth, both teams taking advantage of their early power jam opportunities. And the last couple of jams have featured very short packs. We had three blockers the last time out, which is an excellent opportunity for the Stars to grab some points for both teams. This is true. A little information about the coach for Bellingham. His name is Scott Slamilton. He's actually rostered for uh, Team USA going to the United Kingdom, Birmingham, UK in March. Part of Team USA for Men's Roller Derby. I think everybody should tune in for that. I'm actually disappointed I am not attending that event. Initially, that was the plan, but it was thwarted. It's a long way. Do you know roughly how many teams are actually going to be at that event? Oh, I don't even want to propose a guest. I, I guess. I think initially there were 35 announcers that were slotted to be there. And that's a lot of announcers. And I'm guessing probably around 20, 20 teams. So that is a lot of men's roller derby. Also, speaking of which, there's a tournament coming up. It is the Big O. And it is happening in Salem, Oregon. There will be international gameplay held there, men's roller derby, women's flat track roller derby. So if you have an opportunity to head down there in May. Also, the Derby World Cup, women's derby World Cup happening in Dallas in December. I'll be there for that, for sure. Unless something happens to me, like I'm physically maimed or dead or die or something, <laughs> but I'll be there for that in Dallas. Yeah, let's hope nothing, none of that happens. 22 teams so far have signed up for the Women's Roller Derby Championship in Dallas. 22 so far, and I don't know when applications end, so that list could grow. It could be getting bigger all the time. Even as we sit here, teams may have added themselves. Who knows? It's true. All right, so score update. We've got Bellingham at 46, black tops, gray shirts, Cherry City at 50, a little point correction, and uh, a thank you to Mega Pickle for informing us of that. Mo Cox wearing the star for Cherry City, some fancy footwork on the end, and she is through for five. That's five points for Cherry City on this power jam. Cherry City at the advantage currently with a jammer for Bellingham. Roller Betty sitting in the penalty box. Again, delineated with two minutes. I didn't see that retracted, so feasibly it will be the full two minutes. Unless, of course, Mo Cox sits down, then it, things change up a little bit. So, I'm going to go out on a limb and say Mo Cox would prefer not to sit down. She's through there, and that's five points. 15 on the jam. And uh, on the track right now, it looks like Flossie out there and then a bunch of officials, so there are other people in the pack, I'm sure. <laughs> One would take a leap, yes. <laughs> Katie may kill you, and Fifty Shades of Cray out there. And so far, passive offense on display. Fifty Shades of Cray doing an excellent job of offensive blocking, opening up a huge lane on the inside for Mo Cox on the pass. Six foot fetish working in the inside lane. And this is the passive offense. This is where you would look for some out of play penalties potentially happening for Bellingham as they move forward. And the pack was uh, delineated in the more backwards position, which sounds awkward because it is kind of awkward. I'm following. Yeah, that makes sense. So all three blockers for Bellingham working hard at the front of the pack doing an excellent job of bridging right now to try to extend that space to defend Mo Cox, but she is through yet again. And for those of you at home, it's 35 points on the jam so far. Miata Smack, you have 5-4-2 for Bellingham, headed to the penalty box now. She's sitting down for a direction of game, game play penalty. Isa Hella Vicious goes in for a hit. She realizes she's far past the engagement zone, can engage the jammer then, doesn't take that risk as she would also end up in the penalty box. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a 40-point jam for Cherry City's Mo Cox. And our current score, 46 for Bellingham in black shirts, gray shirts, 90 for Cherry City. We're down to 1435. 
Ananasi, 19, looking to make her way around the outside. She gets shut down by Six Foot Fetish at the front. Six Foot Fetish wearing the Pivot Star Stripe, brother. And on the way to the box is Calamity Dame. So an opportunity for Bellingham to try to run their own power jam here and put some points on to shorten this deficit, Spider. Well, indeed, but previously it was shown that uh, defensively their jammer was able to get through and put up at least 20 points on a jam. Not quite the 40 points, but we have five points for Ananasi number 19 for Bellingham. She's going up against that defense from Cherry City, six foot fetish. And then we're working on the span of the pack there and that bridge trying to make it effective. Really uh, close on the inside line, but Ananasi doing a good job of staying on her toe stops. And she's getting a little help from her friends out there. Um, not passive this time, but actually playing offense to try to open some space through again. And that's another five points for Ana Nasty as she continues to run up this power jam. Miana Smackia, Scarlett Joe Hurtsome. And now we have Lunatic going in for a sweep. Uh, Ana Nasty goes for the outside lane. She's then pushed to the inside of the track and calls it off right then and there with four points on the scoreboard. That's a 15 point or 19 point jam for Bellingham Roller Betties. All right, I want to remind everyone about Pivot Star. Pivot Star now makes uniforms, comfortable athletic shirts that don't snag on Velcro. Try one out today at the Pivot Star booth and get entered to win $50 to spend at PivotStar.com. Pivot Star Alternative Athletic Apparel. Breaker Baker, number one on the track for Bellingham. 207, a little Bratney for Cherry City. Cherry City sitting at 90 currently. Bellingham at 65. 12 minutes, 26 seconds left in the first period. Little Bratney churning those legs hard at the front. She makes a lead jammer for the city of Cherries. And we have an empty box, so all five for each team. Ten skaters on the track. This is not a common occurrence in this bout. Yeah, warning for an out of play on Miata Smackia. She gives way and allows Cherry City's jammer to go on through lest she incur that blocking out of, or out of play engagement penalty. Oh, Miata Smackia headed to the penalty box. And that is a natural grand slam as Lil Bradney making it past the star for Bellingham. Last line of defense and she Calls off the jam, getting out in front of Breaker Baker there, Spider. Robin Rumble, Isa Helovich, and then Sugar Bomb forcing her to call off that jam after 10 points. Cherry City now at 100. Bellingham Roller Betty's at 65. I know it's early in the morning to think about this, but there will be an after party. Or maybe it's not too early. Maybe it's never too early. So it will not be at the Baymont Inn. Let me reiterate, not at the Baymont Inn. <laughs> After party will be at McLeod's Grill House. There will be karaoke, dancing, adult beverages, and a party bus will be available to shuttle people to and from McLeod's to the Baymont until 2 a.m. Katie may kill you, 187, helping Rampage to get a cut track. She'll go to the box for a minute. 404 is Calamity Dame wearing the star for Cherry City. She is your lead jammer on the track and we got a couple blockers just yeah one up so it looks like we're even up in the pack five points given there to 404 calamity dame flossy in the penalty box for cherry city and miata smackia for bellingham roller betties oh. katie may kill you sealing the outside with an excellent block opening up a lane for calamity dame to pick up five more points 10 points on the jam Katie may kill you, however, headed to the penalty box. Uh, Lunatic going in for a huge shoulder check on Calamity Jane. Slips right off her shoulder. Calamity Jane gets five points for her efforts. And that was Vavum Vavet sealing the end on the last pass. Calamity Jane picking up five more points here. She's up to 20 on the jam. And all four blockers for Bellingham on the track, making it hard for Calamity Dame to get through. Oh, huge sternum check as Calamity Dame goes in. She actually hits Lunatic with a sternum check. Wendy Beldholes also on the track there. Four points pulled down by Calamity Dame. 
And ladies and gentlemen, that's a 24-point jam for Calamity Dame. After this bout, you will have Calgary Roller Derby Association versus Slaughterhouse Derby Girls from Colorado at 1230. On the other track currently is Foco Spartan Babes versus the Lilac City Pixies. All right, and we want to take a second to talk about Flat Track Revolution. Please head on over to FTR, the vendor area on track two, and enter to win a free hip bag from Flat Track Revolution. How much? Free. Right now, Flat Track Revolution on track two. Check it out. And again, you can enter to win RollerCon and Junior RollerCon. Obviously, RollerCon in Las Vegas. Junior RollerCon will be in August in Daytona Beach, Florida. Hosted by Flor Florida Junior Derby. So Daytona Beach, I believe August 6th through 10th. I could be mistaken. Junior Roller Derby Association. And we talked a little bit about some of the activity coming up later on today. Uh, this was the 1045 bout. And on track two, Foco Spartan Babes versus the Lilac City Pixies. Both teams full of spunk. They have done an awesome job this weekend. Some of them no bigger than a minute, but they hit like fire trucks when they're out there on the track. Those are juniors. And then following that at 215, I'm sorry, at 1230, we have the Calgary Roller Derby Association versus the Slaughterhouse Derby Girls right here on this track, track one. That was a team timeout. Hanging Chad just ensuring that the time on the period clock is correct. Nine minutes, 33 seconds left. There was the whistle in letting us know that gameplay will ensue. And back to the track, we have uh, Great Top Cherry City. Uh, that's Mo Cox, number 75. She's out there against Ziggy Star Crush for Bellingham. And getting out first was Mo Cox. Mo Cox going to try to up the ante as she tries to stay out in front of Ziggy Star Crush. Ziggy Star Crush riding in the wake and she forces Mo Cox to call off the jam and she does it effectively, preventing Mo Cox from putting any points on, you know, as she encroached on the back of the pack. Very heads up jammer play there. Sometimes it can get a little tricky when you get back to the pack trying to estimate or guesstimate exactly when you'll hit who. Or your hips will pass. Who's D, all of the above. We also have the Smack Shack, smackshack.net. The Smack Shack is Tacoma's floral roller derby retail store located in Mildred. The Smack Shack offers a wide variety of products from skates to clothing. It's online at the smackshack.net. Six foot fetish muscling away through is the pivot for Cherry City fighting for that juxtaposition to get out as the last line of defense for Cherry City. Ananasi, number 19, attempting to railroad her way around, but she gets forced to the inside of the track like a virgin, then attempts to stay out in front of her, and she evades her on a nasty, and then pulls up to that three wall, once again, of Cherry City. And both jammers left about the same time, but our lead jammer is Bellingham's on a nasty, and a lot of work, a lot of sweat went into getting out of the pack for both teams there as we called it off shortly after it happened. Time currently working in favor, however, of Cherry City as they're sitting at 124, Bellingham at 65 with seven, about seven and a half minutes left in the first period. So wasting no time, Bellingham Roller Betty's calling it off. As we get back to the track, we have Cherry City's 404 Calamity Dame out there against number one for Bellingham. That's Breaker Baker wearing the star. And at the front, Breaker Baker with one to beat. She runs it into Vavum Vavette, a big chest collision. She is your lead jammer for Bellingham. And she's getting a little contact there from Calamity Dame as they battle it out in turn two. Yeah, Calamity Dame going in for the... She's trying to usurp here, Breaker Baker, as she holds that inside and then rides the wake, and she's looking for an opportunity to pull around her. Breaker Baker wasn't taking the bait. Oh, forearm penalty now. Oh, dear. 
Forearm penalty on the jammer breaker. Baker power jam in favor of Calamity Dame. She took the risk. She incurred the penalty. And right now, five skaters in the entire pack. So it's three for Bellingham, two for Cherry City. Calamity Dame making her way through. That's a five-point pass. And on the track, Gray Tops, that's Mrs. Infidel and Vavum Vavet now joined by Like a Virgin for the Eight Wheel Assassins. That's the Cherry City All-Stars. Five more points picked up by Calamity Dame on the pass. She's up to 15 on the jam. And it looks like a huge hit delivered. I believe that was Sugar Bomb dropping a bomb over there in turn one for Bellingham. Cherry City holding it down. Five more points for Calamity Dame, number 404. She takes down both the blockers there in the front of the pack. Calamity Dame jumping back to her skate. She does have that five-point pass, but excellent defense at the front from Bellingham, trying to deny the easy points and doing a good job of it. Yeah, that was Robin Rumble working there at the front of the pack with Isa Hella Vicious. All right, it looks like Breaker Baker might have picked up some points before going to the box, so we'll wait for an update on that. We're down to 5-12 on the clock. We're super excited that all of you could join us at home this morning. It's been a, an upbeat bout so far. A lot of fast action, some excellent power jam play out of both teams, both on defense and on the offensive side of the power jam. Mo Cox, as if she were, oh, she picked up a backlock penalty. However, when she was going through, she looked like she was ice skating, like the Olympics. And now a track cut assigned to Bellingham. And so their star was Rampage. She goes to the box. It's going to be a pretty short stay for her, though. Mo Cox. Oh, easily making her way through. Even though she ran into that defense, she just took a stronghold, pushed through what she felt might have been the weakest point. It's like pressure points. And five points there for Mo Cox as she makes her way through. And uh, I lost a star somewhere. I believe we have two. Another five points for Mo Cox, 75. And we are going to have, and we are out of play penalty on Sugar Bomb. She's headed to the penalty box as the pivot. She's headed to the penalty box as the pivot. It was an unsuccessful star pass, although it is on her helmet. Mocox ridden out of bounds by that tough Bellingham defense. She makes her way through for five points as she recovers her skates. And it's pack advantage right now favoring Cherry City as they're playing some passive offense on this particular power jam opportunity. Scarlett Joe Hurtsum now back in the action from the penalty box for Bellingham Roller Betties. She's been a member of the Roller Betties for quite some time. And Mocox up to 25 points as she continues to roll around the outside. Three wall out the front and she finds a hole up the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a 30 point jam for Cherry City and Mo Cox. So in one power jam earlier, 40 points put on the scoreboard. And then again with another 30 points, that's at least 70 jammer, jammer points on power jams. So a definitive difference there would be much closer in points had those not occurred. But they did. Alas, they did. Power jams punish everyone, so uh, everyone's known that pain for sure. 207 is Lil Bratney. Rampage is face to back there with six foot fetish as she gets out of turn one. And it looks like we've got a blocker headed off. That's Lakuka Rakia on the way to the box and Flossie on the way to the box, which means that pack advantage is favoring Bellingham. And our aficionado certified level two NSO Rock has indicated to me that Mo Cox has scored 72 points 
thus far in this bout on behalf of Cherry City. Six foot fetish, one on one with Rampage with a huge ride out and toss down twice now, recycling her. Lil Bratney makes her way through for five points at the front. And all four Bellingham blockers ready to do combat on the track. Oh, Lil Bratney. Sorry, I was wrong. Oh, it was actually 82. I stand corrected. Lil Bratney trying to find some space with those black shirted Bellingham blockers not making life easy for her. Four points picked up there as she continues to roll around the outside. Looks like Rampage picked up a track cut for Bellingham. She'll go to the box for a minute. Well, we only have 54 seconds left here on the first period clock. Now, the jam clock is a completely different story as it, it tells a different tale. A tale of two teams. We want to remind everyone at home once again, Bellingham is in black shirts there at 69. Cherry City is in gray shirts there at 190. And we also want to remind everyone about SureGrip. SureGrip is a leading manufacturer of high-end recreational roller skates and roller skate accessories since 1937. It's SureGrip.com. Cherry City going out in the first half, kind of with a bang. 344, necessary rough miss. Donnie Starr on behalf of Cherry City Derby Girls. One of the captains of the Eight Wheel Assassins. And right now, Cherry City electing to have all four of their blockers watching on passively as necessary roughness tries to make her way out of the front. And it looks like a multiplayer block was called against Bellingham at the front. That's Isa Hello Vicious headed to the penalty box for Bellingham. She was working al al alongside Miata, Smackia, and Sugar Bomb. Sugar Bomb, at number 13, who is the pivot on the track currently for Bellingham. And Necessary Roughness recycled. She makes her way back out 4-5. And she definitely got a little friendly hip check there by Katie May Kill You trying to open up some space against those Bellingham blockers. Miata, Smackia, last line there for defense for Bellingham. Five points put down by Necessary Roughness for Cherry City. And the period clock has come to an end. Both jammers back on the track and the initial pass has been completed for Rampage. And Necessary Roughness, one of the captains for Cherry City has seen enough. She calls off the jam, which I believe takes us to the half, Spider. Uh, and very interesting play at the end there for Cherry City. They were on a power jam and they got 19 points. 15 points prior to the uh, opposing jammer put coming back on the track. I think had it been me, I may have utilized a different strategy in that I may have wanted to start out on a power jam going into the second half. Uh, but again, those are calculated risks and you make those decisions while you're on the track and, and from your coaching staff, sometimes that momentum and things can shift at the half. So I would have been looking for a mental game in the power position uh, heading into second period. And it was a crazy first half, so we've got about 10 minutes right now for everyone to take a pause to refresh. I know that I plan on doing that. Indeed. More later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for the second half of the Bellingham Roller Bettys versus the Cherry City Derby Girl Eight Wheel Assassins. And real quick, we're going to do some lineups here. So we've got the Cherry City Derby Girls. We have 187, Katie May Kill You, 207, Lil Bratney, 303 is Lakuka Rakia, 344 is Necessary Roughness, 350 is Slady Godiva, 360 is Sexbox 360, 404 is Calamity Dame, 50 is 50 Shades of Cray, 556 is Mrs. Infidel, 60 is Six Foot Fetish, 75 is Mo Cox, 88 is Like a Virgin, 97 is Vavoom Vavette, and J9 is Flossie. These are the Cherry City Derby Girl Eight Wheel Assassins. Bellingham Roller Betty's Blunt Force Trauma, 0 0, zero, zero. Isa Hella Vicious, 1 Breaker Baker, 13 Sugar Bomb, 14 Ziggy Star Crush, 19 Ana Nasty, 1902 Pyroclastic Flow, 193 Rampage, 240 Scarlet Joe Hurtsome, 365 Robin Rumble, 40 Windy Bell Tolls, 542 Niata Smackia, and 88 Lunatic. And coming back, just to give you some information, 
uh, Bellingham had 25 minutes in the penalty box, four minutes which, or approximately, were on their jammer rampage, number 193, and those jammer penalties really sort of have turned the tides here. Cherry City sitting at 209, Bellingham at 72, and so they did a... Uh, Cherry City did a really nice job in forcing those cuts. They also did uh, some excellent work on forcing the out-of-play penalties on uh, their team. Cherry City had 21 minutes in the box. High-scoring jammer for the previous period was Mo Cox with 82 points. And a lot of those points picked up on power jams. Mo Cox on the track right now for Cherry City, and she's out there against Ziggy Starcrush for... Bellingham and making her way through for a grand slam is Mo Cox. Vavum Vavet heads to the penalty box for a high block. That's number 97 for Cherry City Derby Girls. Six foot fetish, last line of defense there, but getting out. Ziggy Starcrush, number 14 for Bellingham. And Mo Cox on the way to the box. It's a back block, and that's number five, Spider. Yikes. Now, as far as penalty goes, uh, Bellingham was in more trouble just with individual skaters. There were skaters with, you know, sitting on four and five penalties a piece, a little more evenly spread out for Cherry City. And that is Sexbox 360, Mrs. Infidel, and a six-foot fetish trying to defend the power jam, but Ziggy Starcrush will not be denied as she makes her way through for five points. And she earned all five on that pass, Spider. Ziggy Starcrush looking to make up some of those points. And this is, this is kind of where it went wrong in the first half in that giving away a lot of those, well, I don't mean giving them away as in, here you go. Uh, I mean, cutting, forcing the cut track on the jammer. So here's an opportunity for Bellingham. Oh, and a cutting the track penalty. Another force out on Ziggy Starcrush. So that'll be five, at least five times in the penalty box for the jammer. And if you look at the points, this is why, how this is reflected. And she didn't just step out. Six foot fetish putting a ton of pressure directly in her chestular area, forcing that cut. And she did it on every pass, last line of defense, after she'd worked her way through the blockers. Some bridging going on to try to extend that pack. It was six foot then putting the beat down at the front. There's a reason why she's often wearing the stripe on her helmet cover, I'd say. The power jam will continue here for Cherry City. 207 is Lil Bratney. She's out there with 404 Calamity Dame, 50 Shades of Cray, and J9 is Flossie. Flossie, one of the home team captains for... Oops. Looks like we got a... Cutting the track. And going to the box is Lil Bratney, 207. Oh, it's the Hokey Pokey. Jammer Hokey Pokey. Here comes Ziggy Starcrush out of the penalty box. Roll reversal. So now she is in a power jam. She's going to struggle and try to maintain her balance, and she does so as a down skater sort of impedes her way, but she falls small just as she's supposed to. That's number 97. Vavum Vavet. Sugar Bomb with a huge hit on Calamity Dame in the last pass to open up a gap for Ziggy Starcrush to get through. Sugar Bomb Rampage working in the pack there for Bellingham. We are going to have Cherry City, 50 Shades of Cray, the pivot headed to the penalty box. 50 Shades of Cray loaded up for that arm and she connected, but it was a little too high, so they called a high block on that, which is the correct call. And we want to do a quick shout out to our officials who are keeping us right in the middle of the action. As things are happening, they're updating us, which means we can update you. We hard officials, and that's the fact. Bellingham in 91 in black shirts. Cherry City in gray shirts at 214. The clock says 2555. And beatings are being handed out indiscriminately in this one. Mocox wearing the star number 75 for Cherry City. And she led all scorers at the half with over 80 points. On an SC number 19 through on her initial pass, well known to Mo Cox. So she is right behind her. Mo Cox, let's see what she decides to do. She gets shut down by Miata Smackya. Number 365, a Robin Rumble, Sugar Bomb, and Lunatic. 
And we also want to remind everyone about our featured charity, Sally Santana Funds for the Homeless. The voice of the homeless in Kitsap County, Sally Santana is known for the community for her faith and values comment that ran in the Kitsap Sun every other Saturday and for the volunteer work she did, primarily in the areas of hunger and homelessness. She spent a good deal of her childhood and youth living in these conditions. And when she was able, she was dedicated to helping her neighbors and wider community. Please check out the Sally Santana phone Funds for the Homeless to the left of the announcing area if you're inside the building. You can say that again. Calamity Dame 404 putting the starter helmet cover for Cherry City, but we have Breaker Baker. She actually exited the pack first. Not your lead jammer, however. Sugar Bomb Isa Hella Vicious. 1902 Pyrocrastic Flow and number 88 Lunatic shutting down Calamity Dame. Calamity Dame with two points. Four points by Breaker Baker. Pack advantage favoring Bellingham right now. It's four on two in the pack as we get this next jam started. Scarlet Joe hurts some Rampage as a hell of vicious. And I believe that's Miata Smackya. On a nasty wearing the star for Bellingham. She's out against number 207. That's Lil Pratney. Staring him down on the outside. On a nasty attempt to get around. She gets forced out on the straightaway. She's going to be recycled way back behind number 97. Vavoom Vavet. Vavoom Vavet with the big ride out there and recycle of Anna Nasty. Last line of defense is six foot fetish. She's working at the front, chest to chest with Anna Nasty. And it's a small wall for Cherry City. So they've got their work cut out for them there as they try to stop the onslaught. But Anna Nasty says no. I'm leaving the pack. She is your lead jammer. But six foot fetish, once again, really successful with those sternum blocks and staring down the opponent coming in from the second half and still utilizing that skill now in the second. And that three wall, last line of defense, once again, six foot fetish and making her way around her hips is Anna Nasty with a great piece of skating there. Little 180 action on the end. Bellingham able to pull themselves past the century mark, sitting at 102. Cherry City at 2.22, 20 minute, 22 minutes, 44 seconds left in the final period here in this bout. And on the line for Bellingham is number 13, that's Sugar Bomb. She's out there against 207, that's Lil Bratney. Although it's not Lil Bratney, it's Mo Cox, number 75. They look nothing like each other, so that was some really good work on my part. We all make mistakes, Shovecraft. Sugar Bomb not used in heavy jammer rotation. They're switching it up a, get a bit. She's working for some offensive play, and then the defensive line here running for Cherry City. She gets around number 303, La Cuca Rakia. Fifty Shades of Cray, the pivot for Cherry City, headed to the penalty box. Mo Cox trying to get around number... 14 as Ziggy Starcrush. Mrs. Infidel takes a swing and a miss, almost takes out the referee and the Cherry City bench, but she stops just short. No points awarded for Mo Cox. Four points for Sugar Bomb on the pass, and it looks like we've got a team timeout. For Cherry City. Washington Health Plan Finder, a new way to help you find, compare, and select a quality health insurance plan. That is right for you, your family, and your budget. More people than ever before are now eligible for low cost or free health insurance. Middle income and low income individuals and families generally qualify. Health Plan Finder is the only way you can access these savings. Go to wahealthplanfinder.org or check out the booth on track one. All right, we also want to talk about Toad House Pizza Beer Garden. If you're over 21, head on up to the beer garden and say hi to the boys from Toad House Pizza. Except they're not open, so you'll have to wait a little while, but when you get there, it's going to be amazing. They'll be waiting for you. That's Toad House Pizza Garden right here at the facility. You can't get there from home. It's too far. Although if you are in Bremerton, you can check them out locally at 1405 Northeast McWilliams Road. If you're here and have come from afar... They have a pretty fantastic pizza. Once again, at home, black shirts, Bellingham Roller Betties, gray shirts, Cherry City Derby Girl, Eight Wheel Assassins, 
Bellingham at 106, Cherry City at 222. We're down to 2145, and 187 is Katie May Kill You for Cherry City. It looks like she is through for lead jammer with the sparkly booties. I was just thinking that, actually. Oh, almost a, a, a hit out of bounds. She maintains and is inside four points now for Cherry City's Katie May Kill You. Breaker Baker out there for Bellingham, number one. And in Cherry City, we have a junior league, which is the Cherry Blossoms. And we almost have our first 18-year-old skater that will be graduating to the Cherry City Derby Girls women's team. We also have a men's team, which is Salem Men's Roller Derby that played Lane County Concussion. I think that was uh, one weekend ago, and it was a very good game, less than five points. Ziggy Starcrush is the lead jammer here on behalf of Bellingham Roller Betty's Blunt Force Trauma. And a hella vicious holding down the line on top of number 303, La Cucaracchia. This is the first time dying the star here for her in this bout, not ever. Both jammers making their way around, and that is the end of the jam. The clock says we're down to 2015. Is this true that in-house there might there may be sausage burritos and veggie burritos currently with bagels and cream cheese? If this is the case, I want to find you. I must know where you are. I'm famished. And I believe that would be diagonally across from our track. Speaking of the tracks, we do have a lot going on today. So following this, we have on the same track the Calgary Roller Derby Association versus Slaughterhouse Derby Girls. And on the other track, we have Foco Spartan Babes versus Lilac City Pixies. Mo Cox wearing the star for Cherry City, number 75. And we have number 19, Anna Nasty for Bellingham. Also in star. She takes a hit there from Mrs. Infidel. And one point awarded to Cherry City on the jam. We were just talking about Washington Health Plan Finder at wahealthplanfinder.org. And they are in the building. And you if, can snag free VIP tickets to both weekends of Sasquatch Festival. And I don't know about you, but those are like 400 bucks a pop. And on the first date, I know that Die Antwoord is going to be there. All of you may think that that's a little crazy or have never heard of them. They're a little bit odd. I'm not going to lie, but I'd sure love to see them. All right. Well, thanks for that obscure band reference. We have a lead jammer associated with Bellingham, and that is Breaker Baker. 344 is Necessary Roughness. She makes her way out of the pack now as well. Wendy Beltol sitting in the penalty box, number 44, Bellingham. Sugar Bomb, number 240, Scanna Joe Hurtsum. And 542, Miata, smack ya, that three in the back. Miata goes in for a push assist with the use of Scarlett Joe Hurtsum as the ball, per se. All right, so we've got Bellingham sitting at 116, black shirts, gray shirts, Cherry City at 230. We've got 18 minutes on the clock now. And wearing the star for Cherry City, 187 is Katie May Kill You. 14 is Ziggy Star Crush out of Bellingham. Both jammers getting a little bruised as they try to make their way through. But Ziggy Star Crush is your lead jammer for the Bellingham Roller Bettys. And she actually did an excellent job at using gravity to assist her. All Cherry City went to block her out and she just leaned forward and used their bodies to sustain her weight as she maintained balance inside the bounds. And a track cut assigned there. Katie May Kill You can't quite stay in bounds. An excellent hit by the Bellingham blockers. And that means that Ziggy Star Crush and the Bellingham Roller Bettys are on the power jam. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a fan of the Bellingham Roller Bettys, it's time to make some noise! Yeah. 
All right, and a panty pass has taken place to Sugar Bomb, the pivot for Bellingham. She's made her way through, and that is a five-point pass. One of the team captains for the Roller Bettys. And she's through for another five points, pulling down 15 points on behalf of Bellingham Roller Bettys. That Sugar Bomb, again, not utilized heavily in jammer rotation in the first half, if at all. So doing a nice job here, trying to make up some of those points, and she's going to try to duck her head and get through without creating a back block or get knocked out of bounds. Uh, we have a stop block penalty assessed to number 88, like a virgin. Sex Box 360, Vavum Vavet, Mrs. Infidel playing defense here. And using that anchor forward, other two skaters backwards approach to blocking. They're trying to put the stops on Sugar Bomb. And she's not having it. She makes her way out. And ladies and gentlemen, for Bellingham, that is a 25-point jam for number 13, Sugar Bomb. All right, crazyskateco.com. The Crazy Skate Company is dedicated to providing innovative skating products and apparel with the very latest technology manufacturing. They are designers and manufacturers of roller inline and ice skating products. Crazyskateco.com. So here's an interesting jammer rotation shift up. That's six foot fetish now, donning a star on behalf of Cherry City Derby Girls. She is against Anna Nasty, number 19. Anna Nasty then uh, taking on 50 Shades of Cray, the pivot for Cherry City, and successfully six foot fetish is the lead jammer for Cherry City Derby Girls. And that was Mo Cox with the hit on Anna Nasty, sending her into the middle of the track. She has to be recycled into the back or face a cut. Oh, and that's how it should be done. Six foot fetish with four more points on the scoreboard. She's heading around for another scoring pass. Fifty Shades of Cray and Mo Cox working the two out the front of the pack. And we're done. All right, our score, Bellingham 141, wearing black shirts, gray shirts, is the Cherry City Derby Girls. They are in 236. We're down to 1423 on the clock. And everyone's not on the jammer line. They're way up on the pivot line. Number 97 is Vavum Vavette. Number one is Breaker Baker for Bellingham. Again, Cherry City shifting it up, putting in Vavum Vavet right after a six-foot fetish. Breaker Baker, though, in a pretty significant jam rotation there in the first half. Breaker Baker now still struggling to get through. Nice defensive work there by Cherry City as they take her down. That's number 556, five, Mrs. Infidel. And last line of defense was Sex Box 360. Breaker Baker makes her way out. She's your lead jammer, Vavum Vavet, number 97, who's been a defensive force this weekend for Cherry City, out of the pack now as well. And like a virgin, number 88, cut track penalty, headed to the penalty box for Cherry City. We do have a four-point scoring pass on behalf of Breaker Baker, number one for Bellingham Roller Betties. Trying to make her way through is Vavum Vavet, and she's out there against a... Very game four wall for Bellingham. Not a lot of space as she tries to make her way around the track. She shrugs off Sugar Bomb with a nice move there and turn four. A five point scoring pass for Breaker Baker, bringing her to a nine point jam. She is in the lead. We have four points though, however, now on the board for Vavum Vavet, number 97 for Cherry City, eight wheel assassins. Pack advantage favoring Bellingham and it looks like that's going to be the end of the jam. No points awarded there. So it's four to nine, five point differential picked up by Bellingham on the jam. Favor, again, I, you know, it's cliche to say, but chipping away, chipping away. Seeing how it's going to turn out with 12 minutes, 36 seconds. We are going to have a timeout for Bellingham Roller Betties. They can't take away our cliches. We wouldn't have anything left to say. I feel like announcer bingo is happening now. <laughs> Let's talk about the salad shack. Let us feed you healthy. That's their motto, and they are diagonally across from us. They have salads as well as sweet tea, and I believe salmon corn chowder, which if you haven't tried, is pretty tasty. Or perhaps 
perhaps they have new items which Spider's more familiar with and wants to share. I don't actually know the answer to that, but they may have changed their menu today. I wouldn't want to mislead anyone. So a team timeout. Uh, again, a big thank you to Slaughter County Roller Vixens for hosting the fifth annual Wild West Showdown. This is not the only tournament this year. What, you say? Hmm. There also will be the Big O, which I'm fairly certain HP Shovecraft can give us a little more information about. The Big O is international this year, and it's going to be truly a devastating event. It's going to be the return of the Oli Rollers. What? The Oli Rollers are back in the WFTDA full-time, full steam ahead, and Spider wouldn't know anything about it. They also have uh, teams coming... <laughs> from England. That's right, over the big blue thing. It's gonna be a truly international event and we're excited, just like we're excited right now for number 13, Sugar Bomb, wearing the star for Bellingham. She's out there against six foot fetish and 50 shades of cray. And it looks like a stop block was assigned there for six foot fetish, she goes to the box spider. Mo Cox sitting in the penalty box, you're right, and she's run into some penalty trouble. There's still 12 minutes left on the clock here in the second period, so we'll see how that plays out. Fifty Shades of Cray working with Like a Virgin against Sugar Bomb, number 13. She successfully pulls her way through for five points on the scoreboard for Bellingham Roller Betties. That is going to bring them to 160. She's now on 10 points, looking to rack up the points. Oh, Lunatic going in for a sweep. A perfect execution of that maneuver. And apparently also illegally perfect. She goes to the box for a minute, so... So pack, apparently not so perfect. Pack evening up now. We've got a five-point pass for Sugar Bomb as she makes her way number 13, one of the captains for the Bellingham Roller Betties. Pyroclastic Flow, Miata Smackia, Scarlett Joe Hurtsome now at the back supporting Sugar Bomb. Sugar Bomb running into Like a Virgin. Like a Virgin with a jammer takedown on Sugar Bomb. She hits the floor on turn four, puts her hands to her hips, and calls off the jam. And that's more booty in a face than I usually want to see. So we've got 174 Bellingham. We have 244 Cherry City. Black shirts, Bellingham. Gray shirts, Cherry City. We've got 1053 on the clock. And we also have this amazing menu from the Salad Shack. Smoked salmon, corn chowder, chili and bread bowl for both. Fresh salads, kid meals, smoothies, true southern sweet tea, frappuccinos, regular tea, fresh squeezed lemonade, energy drinks, and Gatorade. Check out the Salad Shack right here in the building. Oh, assess the lead jammer. We have Lil Bratney, number 207 for Cherry City. Vavum Avavet. Oh, six foot fetish goes down with Sexbox 360. Well, Bratney runs right up behind Rampage and puts her hands to her hips. She has three points on the scoreboard for Cherry City. All right, coming up later on today, we have at 2.15. Port Scandalous Roller Derby will be taking on Foco Girls Gone Derby. And that's followed at 3.30 by the I-5 Roller Girls versus the Seattle Derby Brats. That one looks pretty interesting as well. 404 Calamity Dane Don and Star on behalf of Cherry City. She gets shut down. The Apex quickly recovering back on her skates to pick up the Jammer status. And in the pack right now, we are experiencing a pack advantage for Bellingham. That was Wendy Belto's Eyes a Hella Vicious. We talked a little bit before about the Big O. There are going to be so many teams at that event. And what they do a great job of at the Big O and, you know, at many tournaments is that they uh, put together like-skilled skating groups and allow them to play throughout the weekend so you see some very competitive derby play uh, at a variety of levels. Division two last year definitely was a big deal at tournament time, and it'll be interesting to see how some of those teams play at the Big O, as well as the top 40 teams that we're all accustomed to seeing at top-level WFTDA events. Six foot fetish wearing the star here on behalf of Cherry City Derby Girl. She hops around Miata Smacky number 542 for 
Bellingham, Lunatic, the pivot goes into sweeps 50 Shades of Crave. 50 Shades of Crave beats her hit. Moving to the back to join at number 303, La Cuca Rakia. And a hit delivered there by 50 Shades of Cray. That was all booty in the midsection. And zero points is called off the jam was Bellingham. If you need an amazing DJ who's guaranteed to bring that high energy to your event, find DJ Rich Nice. He's the official mix master of the Slaughter County Roller Vixens. Find him on Facebook. Drop him a line. Lil Bradney once again with the star for Cherry City. And she's out there against number one. That is Breaker Baker for Bellingham. Lil Bradney so low that unless you look very closely, you do not see her stealth technology on the track. Clockwise block, assessed to Flossie J9 for Cherry City. She's now sitting in the penalty box. Breaker Baker pulls around Mo Cox on the inside on that initial pass. You lead with five points on the scoreboard, number 207, Lil Bratney for Cherry City, eight wheel assassins. Very fast pack as both teams are happy with moving around at lightning speed. Lil Bratney knocked into the middle of the track and it looks like she called off that jam. Later on today, you can check out the Toad House Beer Garden. They will be located here. If you're hungry and just want to head over, it is about lunchtime. And so 1405 Northeast McWilliams Road here in Bremerton, Washington at Toad House Pizza. And also Fingers Duke. Fingers Duke is more than your average screen printing company. They're a collaboration of awesome creative personalities working together. They utilize their diverse selection of talented professional artists, designers, and illustrators to provide the best and most original cutting-edge solutions to their clients' needs. Finger Dukes, fingersduke.com. Calamity Dame pushing around lunatic number 88 for Bellingham Roller Betties. And we are going to have a sneaking through. Well, I don't know. There was a wide open door there, and she uh, certainly took advantage of it. That's Ziggy Star Crush number 14 for Bellingham Roller Betties. Calamity Dame trying to make her way past the last line of defense. It looks like she is sent sprawling, jumps back on her skates, and it looks like Sugar Bomb out in front playing some tough defense now as the pivot. What a versatile skater. Two jams ago she was wearing the star, and now the pivot. And Lunatic number 8-8. Eight, eight for Bellingham Roller Betty's has reached her limit. She is fouled out with five minutes, a little more than five minutes left in the second period. And it will be number zero, zero, Isa Hellavicious taking her place in the penalty box. All right, the Cherry City Derby girls super thankful for the former Rose City roller, Blood Claudia, who has been their coach for the last year and a half. She's here in the building with them today, but getting out of the pack is number 19. That's Anna Nasty. Mo Cox just did a somersault backwards on the track and recovered. It was like gymnastics with roller skates on. And Anna Nasty, four points. She does not incur the cut track penalty. Two points, though, pulled down for Cherry City Eight Wheel Assassins. Both jammers going hard out there. We've got 174 for the black shirted Bellingham Roller Bettys. Gray shirts are Cherry City Derby Girl Eight Wheel Assassins, 256. And we've got 414 remaining on the clock. 6 0 is six foot fetish. She's out there against. Breaker Baker, number one for Bellingham. And that was some nice maneuvering there by Bellingham as they attempted to shut the door at the back. They created some room for their jammer, Breaker Baker, to get through and then all came together in a flurry of blockers to shut down Six Foot Fetish, then moved forward and, and followed out or actually put themselves in front of Six Foot Fetish to try to stay her off. Flossie and Mrs. Infantel now hitting the penalty box for Cherry City. And trying to get past the last line of defense is six foot fetish. And a huge hit delivered there as 
Breaker Baker goes down, jumps back on her skate. She's trying to work her way through into turn four. Side by side with her opposite number. Fifty Shades of Cray giving up the body to knock down Breaker Baker in turn one. Now we are six foot fetish in the power jam, scoring five, five points for Cherry City. Breaker Baker now sitting in the penalty box. She is going to be joined by Isa Hellavicious, number zero zero for Bellingham. Sugar Bomb, the pivot now released from the penalty box. Fifty Shades of Cray working that or standing on the inside lane. Three on two in the pack, and that's. And now everyone's back. It's four on three. It, all of a sudden, the, the pack was full, but getting through for another five points is six foot fetish. 15 points so far on the jam. Locking it down here for Cherry City with two minutes and 11 seconds left. Six foot fetish gets pushed out of bounds by Sugar Bomb. And she. And. She gets the out-of-play penalty, as indicated by Dell from Hell, sitting in the penalty box with 0-0 eyes. A hella vicious. That last call was a block with the head. It looks like back on the track, Mo Cox, number 75, wearing the star for Cherry City. And she will be on a power jam here. <laughs> Cherry City with a full complement of blockers, two for Bellingham. Scarlett Joe hurt some Miata. Smack ya, forming that two repertoire for Bellingham. Mo Cox coming in relatively slow as she's now going to push her way around. Miata Smack ya, 5 4 2. Five points there for Mo Cox and back from the box. It looks like we've got Breaker Baker trying to make her way into the pack now as well. Mocox trying but quite can't quite catch herself. She is recycled and now off to the races as she picks up another five points. Low block penalty now on 350 Slady Godiva. Mo Cox lowering her shoulder and making her own space in the front of that pack. She hits like a semi. She's got one to get through and she does. That's four points awarded there. And four points for Breaker Baker. It's like you read my mind. Take down on Mo Cox. And a five point scoring pass for Breaker Baker. Bellingham Roller Betty's Blunt Force Trauma. Mo Cox trying to power through the last line of defense. Miata smack you for Bellingham. She gets by, and that is four points awarded as she made her way through. It looks like Lil Bratney going to the box for a minute. And we are now down to the jam clock, which is about five seconds. Calamity Dame. And number 97, Vavum Vavet at the front. Two points more for Mo Cox. And although this is the unofficial final, currently reading Cherry City 296, Bellingham Roller Betty's 198. Unofficial final. Clearly, however, Cherry City Eight Wheel Assassins taking the win here today. They are victorious over Bellingham Roller Betty's Blunt Force Trauma. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Salem, Oregon, please help me to make some noise for the Cherry City Derby Girl, Eight Wheel Assassins!
All right, ladies and gentlemen, from right here in Washington, I want you to please make some noise for the Bellingham Roller Betties. It's been a pleasure. As always, I'm Spider. Thank you so much, HP Showcraft. I will see you, in fact, later today. Super excited. Thanks, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the derbies today.